Hey guys, it's Pia here! Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you my special custom number 600, which is a milestone custom, obviously. Um, this is a custom that took me a lot of time to make, and I put a lot of effort into it because it has a lot of details. Um, what I wanted to do for my custom number 600 was just... Um, actually, it all started from the idea because I sometimes have kind of crazy hair. My blonde hair is just kind of all over the place, and... Uh, it looks kind of crazy in some of the videos uh, <laughs> that I've posted of myself. Um, so the idea just came from, like, what if I made a custom with crazy hair and it would have, like, a cup of coffee in it and stuff like that because I'm usually very pumped up on caffeine. Um, and then I kind of came up with the idea of just making something that looks like... Um, it looks like me, or well, it has hair like mine, and then it just has a bunch of things that I love in its hair. Uh, it sounds kind of weird, but I will walk you through it. Uh, <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm just going to show you the custom because uh, it's easier to explain that way. So I hope that you guys like it. So here is my custom number 600. Yes, I've actually made that many. Can you believe it? <laughs> it sometimes feels really surreal. Uh, anyway, originally I wanted to use a cat like my mascot uh, for this one, but I didn't have one of those and they're actually kind of expensive to buy, so I decided to settle for this um, like newer LPS style. Uh, I think this is also a Himalayan cat, or at least it's some sort of Persian fat little kitty. <laughs> but I thought it would at least be really, really stable if I sculpted a lot of stuff on its head, um, so that's why I chose this one. Obviously it has blonde hair, just like I explained, it's kind of all over the place, going crazy here. It has a mind of its own, much like my hair has. So the first cat I ever owned had similar colors to this one, and that's why I chose this grey and black color scheme for the cat. And the green eyes is because I have green eyes, so it's kind of like an alter ego of mine. Uh, and then I'm just gonna start taking you through all of these details that I have in the hair so that you understand why they're there. First up, here is a coffee cup because I love coffee. Here is a donut because I love donuts. Um, here is a microphone up here because I love singing even though I'm not that good at it, but it's something that me and my husband do a lot. He plays the guitar and I sing, so I thought I would represent that in this custom as well. Um, here is a camera, because I do love photography, you might not know that, but I actually really do love it a lot, it's one of my favorite hobbies. Here is some sort of engagement or wedding ring, um, it looks like nothing like mine, but it is a very important thing for me that I am married, um, so I wanted to include a little wedding ring in this one. Next up we have an Instagram logo here, um, that's because when I started making LPS customs, um, a while after that I started posting them on Instagram and I got kind of, um, well I first got kind of famous on Instagram I guess and then I moved over to YouTube, uh, which is here, represented as the play button. Um, <laughs> Then we have a paintbrush over here, which is because I obviously paint these LPS, and I wanted to include that somehow as well in this. Um, then we have this uh, original Nintendo controller. That's because I love gaming, especially retro games like the Nintendo. That was actually the first game console that I had when I was little. Um, then up next we have, <laughs> we have the TV tower in Berlin. Um, I wanted to represent Berlin somehow in this because me and my husband do go there a lot and it's my favorite place in the world. Um, and this TV tower is actually kind of, you know, an iconic symbol of Berlin, so that's why I chose that one. Um, I've actually never been to the TV tower though, so, you know, but it's there because it's just a symbol that I like Berlin a lot. And then we have a cat over here. Um, it's just a random cat to show that I am a crazy cat lady and I love cats. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that was kind of my explanation of all of these things. I will put up a time-lapse soon of how I painted this. Um, well, just the details, actually. I think the time-lapse starts from um, this one already having the blonde hair and the grey base, but uh, other than that, the time-lapse will show you how I painted all of these details. and. I hope that it's interesting to you guys. It took me a really, really long time to paint because it has so many details and it took a really long time to sculpt, but I do love the way it turned out. I think it's really adorable and really unique and just kind of shows what I would look like if I was an LPS and my brain exploded all over my hair, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It sounded very gruesome, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, no, it's. Uh, I just thought it would be fun to do something like this. Um, as an LPS and so I went for it. So yeah, I hope that you guys thought that this one looked cool and I hope that you enjoyed my little explanation of it. And if you guys were to make a custom similar to this, what would you have in your hair? And is your hair even crazy? That is my question to you, my dear watchers. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> I guess I don't have that much more to say about her, so I will end this video now but i hope that you guys liked it and see you again tomorrow bye